We came with nothing and we live with nothing. Now that is for sure that everything we have belongs to you. All we can do is to give you thanks and to appreciate you. We have come together gathered here as your children to worship you to thank you but also to listen from you thank you Jesus thank you Holy Spirit and this is why we always worship you Lord we always give you praise because of your grace because of your mercy because of your love in the name of Jesus. I would like to let's sing this song together. Let's sing this worshiping songs to the Father. Amen. Because of his mercy, his grace, and his love. Together as we lift our voices. Saying, be worshipped, Lord of Grace. Tina kusinzanga mukama. Na kusinzanga. Nemiti Majia Fe Nakusi Zanga Mukama Nava Nava Nge Nakusi Zanga Mukama Orwechi Sache Chinji Orwechi Sache Chinji Hallelujah nor a man, Hallelujah. Money go. Father, we just give you praise. It's all by your grace. It's because of your mercy. It's because of your grace. It's because of your love that we cannot hesitate to give you worship and praise. Now therefore, Heavenly Father, as you shower the earth with rain, 
Therefore, shower your people with more blessings. Let the sick be healed. The tormented be set free. People with broken hearts be, be uh, bound. Those with confusion. Let them have sanity and power of mind. Now, my Heavenly Father, we did not come to a religious gathering, but we came to the assembling of the Heavenly Father and Heavenly presence and where your Holy Spirit is. Now Spirit of Jesus, Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, please take control to the people who are confused and frustrated. Give us Father, everything that we need. To them who need clarity, give them clarity. To them who need marriage, give them marriage. To those who need money, give them money. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. You may take your seats. Thank you, worship team. And thank you, ministers of priests in charge of instruments. Uh, priests. Yes. You know, in the Old Testament, all of them were called priests. But they only differentiate in terms of what they do. There were priests in charge of the word. And then there were priests in charge of worship. And then there are priests in charge of instruments. And the Bible clearly states that when the priests in charge of instruments stood and everyone in their divisions and they played their instruments, the cloud came down. And then Chronicles say when the priests in charge of worship stood up and they sang a song called God is Good, the Holy Presence, the Holy Spirit came down. So all those were the priests in charge of the pulpit. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, you are Levites, you are priests in the house of God. Now do everything to bring glory to the Father. It's the same way you who play instruments. You have to discover yourselves in the scripture. Because when everything else is done, when the heavens and the earth will be rolled over, there is one thing that there is one ministry that will remain. The ministry of worship and instruments. That ministry never ceases. But the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 that prophecies will cease. Faith will also cease. And where there are other gifts will cease. But only one that will remain. That is love. Among gifts. But among ministry. It is worship. And playing of instruments. That ministry will never cease. Until even when we are in the presence of God. When we go to the Father, still we will need worshippers. They will join with angels. Currently are angels who are worshipping. But in time to come, the minister of angels will cease. 
so that the sons of God will take over that ministry. And they will worship the Lord in their languages. And that's why John says, I had multitude and multitudes of people singing and praising God in their languages. Praise God. Come on, give God a mighty hand clap. Heavenly Father, we thank you. As we are going to listen to the word. Bless our ears. And bless our hearts. So that we may be receptive. And that word will bear fruit. And that fruit will bring peace in our lives and enjoyment to the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Amen. I would like to take this moment to welcome all of you in this season as I said in the first service, I also said to you that we have come to the season of thanksgiving. Now this is a season where we are reminded of our obligation. Now thanksgiving is not natural. Therefore that's why it's important to teach to bring us to remembrance. Otherwise, if there is no one to remind us, we will be overtaken by circumstances. So many things go on. Frustrations and fears and worries. Things that come from Things that we need and we don't get. Amen. 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 So they kind of bring worries and frustration. And let me tell you something. It's so easy to forget to give thanks and you pass away without ever giving thanks because your heart will never be contented. Let me say this one also. Maybe it will help us. There is no single moment in life where you reach a moment and you say, I have it all, I'm contented, I need nothing. It has never been there. It's not there. And listen it from my mouth. It will never it will not be. It will never be. Even in generations to come. No. Because the Bible is true. And it says two things. Three things. They are never satisfied. Now that's what the Bible says. The eyes. Amaso. The heart Omutima. and the grave. So if you think there will come a moment and a time when you'll be contented and you'll have everything. That is a lie. You are living in wonderland. And you will never be happy That is the deceit of the heart which lies you, deceives you that time one day you will be happy and you can give thanks. When you have built your house, you have your marriage, I mean, you have your husband or you have your wife. You have money. 
you will give thanks. And you will be happy. That is the number one deception of the heart. Which the devil uses so that you can never enjoy life because you keep on postponing your enjoyment. We come in the world frustrated in, in tears. The moment a child is born, the moment she falls on the ground, she cries. He lives in constant desire and leaves the world unsatisfied. So the question is, when will I be happy? When will I have the peace? So that I can give thanks and appreciation to God. The answer is, if that's what you are depending on to give thanks, forget it. Because even the people with whom we think that they are happy and blessed, they, they, have, they think there are certain things to reach before they can be happy. Even President Museven. I would be happy if every Ugandan is rich. I'll put there Mioga, I'll put there Bonabagawari, I'll put there all the things have come. More troubles and more frustrations. So the question is when will you be happy? When will you be contented? When is that time of peace? When the world is greener and the wind is simply a breeze. Simply a breeze, not a storm. Is it when you are married? When you have children? When you have money? What is the gauge for wealth? What does man want? What are people looking for? Are we not like people running away from the lion and only to meet a bear? Like a person running away from situation storm and only to go back home and rest your hand on a snake? So therefore, don't allow your heart to lie that you'll be happy in years to come when you get your degree. When you have a car. When you be married. If you can't get happy now. You will never. Amen. 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 So now. It is paramount that as a church of Christ. We call you once again. We gather you. And we remind you of this awesome duty of giving thanks to God because of what he has done, Chamu not because of what you do not have. Chamu gasonge kanisa okuba kunganya okuba ita netuba jukisa ntitu yino kweba zakatonda si orebi obiyako ze na ye ngadetu sinzi da kwebe bie tutalina. It is our duty and the duty of the church to remind you that the time to give thanks is now. The time of peace is now. My peace I give to you. What as the world gives because your hearts will not be troubled. Let not your hearts be troubled. Do not be anxious about 
about so much things. But in case those things happen, in case of anxiety, speak to the Father. Pour your heart through prayer and also thanksgiving, appreciating what he has done. Give him thanks for the things he's about to do. But also give him thanks for the things he has done in the past. Give him thanks even for the things right now. Do you have it all? No. And you will never have it all. But God makes sure that you have what you need. So give him praise. Give him worship. Thank him. And that way, you will find uh, nourishment for your bodies. And you will become young. You will revive. You will become young as an ego. For your, your youth will be renewed. Because of the peace that you draw from the faith, knowing that God takes care of you. Why do you want to waste your time? To crush your heart. All things are okay. Remember where you were before. Ten years ago. Remember what you came through. Some of the situation that you have come out. Remember where you came from. And where you are. Amen. So therefore, that's why God spoke to Asaph. Asaph was a priest in charge of worship. And a prophet. Do you hear that? The prophets are, by the way, people who mostly worship. Did you know that? So this man here, Asaph, Asaf was a descendant of Korah. Now, Korah was a sinful man. Korah yali musajja mwononye. By always talking against the servant of God, Moses. And rebelling against the will, uh, the, 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 the commands of God. So God destroyed him and his entire family. But before he did that, he gave them a choice. Anyone who wants to. Who wants to be on God's side? Come this side of Moses. But now, whoever wants to be destroyed with Korah, go on his side. So Moses spoke that. And people made a choice. There are some of the descendants of Korah who went on God's side? The family. So one of them was the forefather of Asaph. And one day God revealed this to Asaph and said, tell the children of Israel, tell the leadership of Israel to gather my consecrated, to gather my people that I may speak. There is something that I'm noting. Amen. Amen. And this is what is said in the book of uh, 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 Psalms, verse uh, chapter 50. And verse 1. Throughout. In verse 1, Asaph spoke prophetically and said, The mighty one. The God, the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to the place where it sets. 
katonda katonda mukama ayogedde na itenso kuva mu buvanjuba okutuka mu bugwanjuba katonda amas amasama siza from the rising of the uh, from zion perfect in beauty god shines forth okuva mu sayun obulunjo obutukiride katonda amasama siza verse 3 our god comes and will not be silent a fire devours before him and around him a tempest rages katonda wa farija sotali sirika omulilo guli lya mu masoge omuyaga omunji guli mwetolola now asaf stood in jerusalem when people had come to gather to celebrate asaf yaimira mu yerusalem abantu bali bazzo kukungana okujaguza one of the feasts of, of the Israelites. And he stood up and shouted. And he said, the mighty one, the God, the Lord speaks. And he summons all the people from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. And then he defines him. And he says, uh, our God comes and will not be silent. A fire devours him. A fire, uh, so, sorry, a fire devours before him, and around him a tempest rages. In other words, he comes in majesty. He comes in power. He's unequal to anyone else. So you Israel, be reminded to fear the Lord and to respect him. Because God is about to speak about your error. About the mistake you do whenever it comes to worshiping. You come with sacrifices. You come with thanksgiving. You come with gifts. But those gifts are not with an intention of honor. It is just a ritual. And your worship is not a worship of the heart, but is a worship of things taught by men. In other words, it's not out of respect. But now it is out of a ritual. What will people say if I don't do this? If I don't give, what will people say? And then the Lord said, now, let me tell you who I am. Through Asaf. When I'm about to come, fire goes before me. And all around me the tempest rages. I summon things and they obey. I speak and they become. The heaven is my throne. And the earth is my footstool. I sit upon the circles of the earth. And the angels worship. And the clouds are obedient. For they become the dust of my presence. Rain is my servant. The sun is my making. The moon is my creation. So, I want to remind you who I am. So that you stop this Things of simply coming and to do things like in a humanistic way. To give because it is a ritual. And then he goes on to say. His verse 4. He summons the heavens above and the earth that he may judge his people. 
Now this judgment is not a judgment to take you to hell. No, you are his people. This judgment is, uh, is, is about a teaching to show you the mistakes you do. To judge you between the right and the wrong. Somehow to to bring you, to orient you on what is right. And then he goes on to say, Therefore, gather to me, gather to me, my consecrated ones, who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Gather to me my people, my consecrated people. And who are these? Remember what the Bible says in the book of Romans. Them that God foreknew, time came that he called them. When he called them through the, the faith of, of the knowledge of the Son of God, He sanctified them. He consecrated them. And it is you, you who have believed in Jesus. He knew you. He brought the knowledge of His Son to you. And you believed in His Son. And now, for all these years, He has been taking you through situations which we call sanctification consecration amen church that's why when the moment you come to Christ after baptism of the Holy Spirit another thing you encounter are the challenges of life you cannot go you cannot do otherwise everybody who is born again must go through fire. No amount of prayer can do that. It is a process. You come to God. You come to know Jesus. You believe in Jesus. You are baptized in the Holy Spirit. You are filled with the love of God. And the knowledge of God. Secondly, desert. You have to go through the process. To work on your heart. To work on your habit. To work on your character. And until your character is like the son of God. Oh, come on, give God a mighty hand. Clap. So stop this business. Why me? Why am I on the only one going through situations? When I came to Jesus, that is the process. Them he called, he sanctified. Them he sanctified, he glorified. Them he called from Egypt, he took through the desert. From desert to Canaan, the place. So where are you now? Some of you are just being called now. Get ready for the desert. For the testing. I speak to you, little children children. You who are listening to me now, be patient when you are going through affliction. Because the sufferings of your life is a testing of your heart. And that testing will give you, will leave you mature. Amen. Amen. So no one is bewitching you. Uh -uh. No. no one. She's saying that someone is bewitching me. Maybe that is why I'm going through that. When you do that, you add trouble on, tr on yourself. People went through it. Everybody. Even me. So even you. Now we. Yes. 
So God says, gather to me my consequence ones. People that I have sanctified. By, with my own precious blood. And I have sanctified them with a spirit of fire. People who know me now. Gather them together. Summon them. Bring them. Amen. Gather to me my consecrated ones. Who made a covenant with me by sacrifice? You know when you are reading this Bible, this Bible was not written to the Jews. No, this Bible was written to the Jews, the spiritual Jews. To the spiritual Israel. The Bible says in the book of Romans. The Bible says in the Bible says in the book of Romans. The children of Abraham are not the physical ones. Neither is Israel the people of the flesh. Israel simply means in whom God reigns. Do you think everybody in Israel, God rules in him? That is a picture. That nation is a picture of the church. Come on, give God a mighty hand clap. But it's you who are consecrated through the covenant of the sacrifice between God and Jesus Christ. When Jesus went on the cross, he made a covenant with God that my blood will sanctify this people. And they shall be holy unto me. And they will be called sons of the Most High. They will be called ambassadors. And they will be called both kings and priests of God. And they will sit with me in heavenly places. Ephesians chapter 2. So you are the one. And I am the one. Oh, unless you don't know that. Verse 6. The heavens proclaim his righteousness. For God himself is the judge here and is the teacher here. Hear all my people. Now God begins to speak. Hear all my people. Give me your ears that I will speak. Render your hearts not your garments. Give God a mighty hand clap. Amen. 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 And amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Let's go on. Oh, we give you praise. We give you praise. Um, Pastor, help on that lady. Bring her to me. Lift him up. Uh, uh, Mbazi, go and help. Just help. Yes, the power of God is eminent. The power of God. You know, you know let, let me tell you, right now the devil doesn't want you to hear this because this is... And that's why the spirits are moving out. They start to move out. Because this is life giving. Father, we just give you praise. Stretch out your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus. We rebuke this spirit. Leave and go. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now you can go outside and you pray for him, okay? Mm. Come on, give God a mighty hand clap. Thank you, sweet Jesus. 
Uh huh. Let's go on. Which verse are we on? Verse 7. Hear all my people and I will speak. O Israel, and I will testify against you. You people in whom I rule. I want, I will testify. Listen to me. And I will testify. Against you. Hmm? I am God, please, for heavenly sake. Your God. God. Mm. Listen to that. Why? Because there are certain habits which had crept in. That whatever they were doing, it was a ritual. Even worship is a ritual. Even giving is a ritual. They just turn around and say, hey, by the way, what, 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 what should we give? Hey, if, uh, because today is uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> ah. You know, Israelites were farmers. I never up to now, they are still farmers. Ah, let me go to the Kerala and I see. Mm, uh, uh, later, later. Uh. Give ah, me that. Ah, ah, eh, kari, kari. Eh, 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 eh. The other small one. Ah, tagamba na yo small one. Agamba. Eh, yo, eh, yo, that one. one. Eh, yo, jireke, eh, eh, eh. Leave that one. Leave that one. No, it is so good. Eh, it will earn me a lot of money. But anyway, so after all, it's giving. It's, it's just going to give. I'll go. I'll go. But God was watching the motives. God was watching the way people were doing it without honor and respect. You know, Jesus one time told the disciples. Yes, He found the Jews worshiping. And Jesus turned to his disciples. Yes, These people worship me in vain. They worship me with their lips. But their hearts are very far. You see them coming to church? They are here physically, but their hearts are far. Everything they do is completely different. But yet they are praying. God bless me. So therefore God said that, that verse what? Uh -huh. Verse 8. No, no, verse 7, the last, the last verse. I am God. I am your God. I do not rebuke you for your sacrifices or your burnt offerings which are ever before me. No, I'm not saying that giving is bad. I'm not saying what you give. I'm not here to judge what you give. I don't mind whether you've given so much or little. But I'm looking for your heart. I am looking for honor. I want to see somebody who honors me. It's not about how much. But it's the heart. You know one time Jesus stood up in the church and people brought a lot of money. Others maybe put in a million or maybe millions and there is a lady who came and gave a pence which is equivalent to 500 shillings today. 
Maybe because it's a pace, uh, in the Uganda Bible, they call it a pesa. And maybe people, Bible some of you Uganda think. Pesa. No, they were not talking about this baton. In English, in English this is called a baton. So the Uganda Bible translated it in Uganda. It was a pence. And Jesus said, listen to me everyone. This woman has given more than all of you. Wait a minute, but I've given in my 10 millions. Yeah, but you have a billion. Actually, you have even maybe two, 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 three, four billions. So 10 millions is just a change. Oh, but, uh, but Jesus, you can't compare me with that woman for me. I've given my 20,000. But from maybe 10 millions. So what is 20,000? But this woman gave all she had. Not because of anything. But because of an expression of faith. And trust. And honor. Therefore, I recognize it. Now this is why Jesus say. I mean this is why the Bible is saying. I do not. I do not. Uh, um, um, where, where, where? I, uh, verse what? Verse 8. I do not rebuke you for your sacrifices. Or your burnt offerings. Don't misinterpret me. That's what God is saying. That I'm not only looking out for a, a fat one. It's not being fat or lean. It's not about being fat or lean. But I'm looking for your heart. Say with me. God, God is looking for my heart. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, give God a mighty hand. Say so with me, God is looking for my heart in everything I give. Whether it is worship, whether it is instruments or any kind of ministry or ushery, God is mindful of my heart. Amen. 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 And then he goes on to say, I have no need of a bull from your stall. I have no all of goats from your pens. Siri just said do me munyumba yo. Ne wanku bade mbuze nume mo bisibo yo. I don't need it. For every animal of the forest is mine. Kubanga buli insole yo mu chibira The cattle on the thousand hills are mine. I know every bird in the mountain. The creatures of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. For the world is mine. And everything in it. The world is mine. Your house is mine. Your field is mine. Your business is mine. Your husband is mine. Your wife is mine. Your child is mine. Your body is mine. The air you breathe is mine. The strength is mine. The food you eat is mine. The water is mine. The seeds that you sow are mine. You created nothing and you have no factory that creates anything. So everything is mine. Even your hair. Even your tomorrow is mine. So 
So why do you have this con- uh, the, the, this attitude? No retro retro in embaleno. Ah. I will give what I want. I know I, I think I can give. No, 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 ladies and gentlemen, no. Oh, come on, give thanks to God for what? How about the legs? You have how about, how about your hair? The years. The flesh. The appetite. Do you think everybody has the appetite? Go to Mulago right now, you can see. You are complaining. How come God? How can I thank you? Even I don't have this and that. And you say, okay. I only have beans and posho. Go somewhere else. That's when you will know that they are only, if only they get posho to them, they will kneel down and give things. So, what makes you think that why should I give him thanks? So God is saying that everything you have is mine. You came with nothing. And you will leave nothing. So think twice. Whenever you are coming before my presence. Whenever you are doing something for me. Think. I am God. I am your God. Oh, come on, give God a mighty hand clap. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine, and, that's, and, and, that, and all that is in it is mine. I don't eat flesh of bulls. Even I don't drink the blood of goats. No, actually, that's what he's saying. I don't. <laughs> I don't eat. So when you come and give, and well, when I tell you, bring me a <laughs> sacrifice. <laughs> it's not because I eat. When I tell you to come and to come with an offering or a tithe <laughs> or whatever, I don't use money. Pepper is for the world and the world is for pepper. Both will not inherit the kingdom. Amen. But what am I looking for when I tell you to bring? Hmm? Verse 13, verse 14. This is what I'm looking for. Whenever you are offering a service, whenever you are giving anything to me, sacrifice a thanks offering to God. And then fulfill your vows to the Most High. The things that you have made up your mind to give in your heart in reverence of me in reverence of me do it with a sacrificial thanksgiving attitude. Verse 23 because he who sacrifices a thanks offering or a thanksgiving honors me. And prepares a way for me to show him my salvation. Come on, church, give him a give God a mighty. Amen. So as I wind up. God is requesting us three things here. When we talk about in this scripture, when we talk about what is written in his scripture. But whenever you want to give, 
Oh, whenever you reach at this moment of thanksgiving, go ahead and plan in your heart what you want to give to God. But they should be in these three categories. Number one, it should be with an attitude of thanks. It should be with an attitude of giving. And it should be with an attitude of a sacrifice. Now, what is thanks? Thanks is an expression of gratitude through words. All gestures. All in different ways according to customs. In Uganda, people kneel down. When you have done them something and they appreciate it. They go and give thanks to Kabaka. But it's the same way even in the kingdom of God. Revelation 11 verse 17. I want to show you this example. Revelation 11 verse. Now these, are angels, these were elders in heaven. When they saw the glory of God. And the power and the might. And they, they, comp, I mean, they, 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 they reflected on where they were and where they are now. They bowed down in worship by saying we give thanks to you Lord our God the one who is and who was because you have taken your great power and you have begun to reign we thank you Lord so, God is saying whenever you are whenever you are giving thanks, let that be your attitude. Thank you, Father, King of the universe. The creator of everything. I am here today because of you, Father. I may not have everything that I need but at least I am not the less privileged one I am not where I used to be yes Lord I have so many things that I need but thank you for the eyes thank you for the ears thank you for the bones thank you for the mouth that can speak thank you I may not have so many shoes in fact I'm in need of shoes. But at least I have feet to put on the shoes. Thank you, Lord. I may not have the dress that I saw on Kampala Road. But at least I have a figure to put it on. Thank you, Lord. As long as I'm still breathing, I will have it. But right now, I have the basics. Thank you, Lord. Maybe Osanga. I, 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 no, I will, I will leave that. <laughs> Let me leave that one. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. So stop complaining even about your wife, your husband. My marriage would have been better but this woman. Who is responsible to make marriage. Is it the woman? It's you. You have the key to Why? turn it around. My marriage would have been better if it was this man. There is no perfect marriage. No. People who are living in delusion, young men and young women. The day when the samba The day I walk down the aisle. Oh, no. oh, I will give thanks. You do it. 
After three years, you say that day I will run out of this marriage. God help me. If only you can give me a way. Now let me tell you something. Every marriage that you yearn for the marriage that you see, when you see married people and you say, Mama, look at them. These are two imperfect people. Living in an imperfect marriage. Who decided to create a perfect marriage. Together. Together. Now when you see them, you want to be They like paid them. the price. They endured some things. And they decided to concentrate on what is best. But the reason you're fighting is because you always concentrate on the least. Others concentrate on the good things. I see seeing my wife's mistakes. I see seeing my wife's mistakes. I see seeing my wife's mistakes. She sees seeing my mistakes. She magnifies the good I do. And I magnify the good she does. You, you find me calling her love, baby, sweetheart. And you're like, oh my God, what did they drink? There is nothing they drank. They drank the word. And the word told them what to do. And the one told them that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And they were told that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But I sanctified freely. That for God loved the world and He gave His only Son. Now, O Mr. Jagara, my amigo. A man love your wife. Nga Christo wa yagara. As Christ loves. How does Christ love the church? And the wife love your husband. Honor him. It is you two that decide. Thus says the Lord. <laughs> At that time, <laughs> let me finish. Amen. No, 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 I'm telling you. But by the way, agreement is the beginning of even wealth. That Joey Kabando going up there. Asomesa every Wednesday. Asomesa saving. Now let me teach you. Before you save and so -so saving love. and invest, save love. So called saving a love. Save love. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So called saving a love. Please first save love. Simani or investing a love. Invest in love. Investing a muchala. Invest in your wife. No muchala investing a mumuami. And the wife invest in your husband. Mukwata gane. Always be together. Mwela bire nsobi. Forget about each other's mistakes. Na yenga muchavu magana. But as long as you still abuse each other. Mbula bagundi eno, la bagundi eno. Then look at this, look at that. Obu gaga busibu le mudirisa. Bid farewell to wealth. Sira bangako mze musajia. I've never seen a man. Obu mukazi. All a woman who is always quarreling with the partner who can get rich. The Bible says that if a house is divided against itself, so thanksgiving, no Rachel Quebaza. I mean, thanks is an is an expression. And giving is taking something away from you. 
no kuwa kwe kwe jake chintu to cause one to have o kuchire telo mulalabere na cho amen Amina. Luke 6 verse 38 says give. Luka mukaga satu mukage gambanti wa. Give your money. Wa sentezo. Give your love. Wa kwaga lakuo. Give your respect. Wa chiti wa. Give understanding. Wa kutegera. And it shall be given to you. Na we china kuwe wa. Amen. Amina. Luke 6 38. Luka mukaga satu mumunana. So giving. No recho o kuwa. Is an attitude of taking away or is an expression of taking away something from you Chico and you give it to someone else. Amen. Amen. Sacrifice, Sacrifice is a cause of taking away from yourself that is of value or something which is more valuable. Kwe kwe jako e chintu e chomu gaso oba e chomu wendo e nyo. An act of worship Echiko that demonstrates trust in God. John 3.16 says, For God so loved. And he gave. Now, a, a pure example of Sacrificial giving. There is an act of giving. An act of sacrifice. Giving the best. Amen. 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 That's why Psalms 50 and verse 14 said, What I need from you is a thanks. Offering, uh, what, 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 what? Sacrifice a thank offering to me. These are three things. In other words, give, but also thank, but also should be with a sacrificial heart. That you are giving your best. Don't look in your flock and you say, ah, today is Thanksgiving. Uh, my son, uh, get that. But it's done. God asks in Malachi. The, the gifts, the offerings you give me. Try giving them to your kings. Try giving them to your lovers. And see if they'll appreciate. What makes you think I'll appreciate? So if you want to give, give. But give it with a heart that is determined. Knowing that you're giving the best with a thanksgiving heart giving it to the king of kings amen 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 lastly Matthew two, two, chapter 2 verse 11 Matayo Biri Kuminem is a good illustration also how these people came with this attitude of sacrificing a thanksgiving or a thanks offering. Now these are these were the uh, uh, the magis. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary. What did they do? They bowed. God had told them. That the Savior has come. I have fulfilled my word. Go follow the star. And you will see the God incarnate. So they came. When they reached the house, they saw the child. They saw Mary. They bowed down in reverence of God that you are true. You are faithful. You have fulfilled your word. They worshipped him. Then after that, 
They opened the treasure box. They didn't touch in the pockets. Let's see what we have. Uh -uh. So where do you keep the treasure? In the treasure box. Where do you keep the change? In pockets and bags. Or oh, some ladies in the bra. And stop putting money in the bra. Money is dirty. Money is dirty. So, but they opened the treasure box. But they opened the treasures. The word is treasure. Let me ask you, do you give out treasures? Where are all your titles? There is a place you keep them. When it comes to give, what do you give? Sente. You give change, money. Do you know why they talk about Barabbas in the Bible in Acts of the Apostles? He gave the treasure. He gave land. Others gave houses. Those people who gave money, they are not mentioned so much. Amina. Amen. Amina. Amen. They opened the treasure. Not the pockets. Not the bags. And they got gifts. Which gifts? The Bible is not ashamed to say to speak. Gold, incense, mar, and other things. Praise God. Those are the treasures. And they opened. Now listen. Isaiah, I mean, Zaburi Atano, Psalms 50, verses 23. No, verse 14, sorry, verse 14. Psalm 50, 14. Let's read together. One, two, three. One, two, three. Read. Sacrifice, thank offerings to God. Fulfill your vows to the Most High. Then verse 15. And call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you. And you will honor me. Why? Verse 23. Verse, 20, verse 23. Because. Uh -huh, let's read. He who sacrifices a thanks offering. Honors me. And he prepares the way. So that I may show him. The salvation of God. God bless you. If you do those things. Right now from here. Start to think likewise. Start to thank God every morning. No complaining for one month. No grumbling for one month. But I know, of course, after one month it will be a habit. So no complaining for one month. Uh -uh. That was my word with you. Now, no complaining, no grumbling. I don't have a man, I don't have a wife, I don't have a child, I don't have this. Eh, hey God, I don't have this. No, 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 no. Now, put it aside. Put it aside. From today onwards, now, now, from today onwards, it's a law. Every morning. Mm -hmm. 
Okuva no rare to damukwe mulugunya si nam sajasi na mami si nam chalasi na sente si na nyumba start tandi koku tandi koku meranga weba zamu kama budi runaku. I'm so bad I can't mulugunya kubanga sebina. Ah, first let me complain. I don't have them. Eh, I never want to phone one again. I can't mulugunya send it to my mother. Send it to my son. Even when you get a child, you complain about the money to take her to school and to feed her. So kato okuva nerero. So from today. Buri kumachi ambala gira mulinyala yesu. Every morning. I command you in the Holy name of Jesus Christ. Whenever you wake up, I know that the enemy will whisper to you, you don't have a house, you don't have this, you don't have that. But when you wake up, don't say, oh my God, this man, this Kati man. Nyue. Now let him be. When you wake up, so, oh God, I thank you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for the blessing you've given me. Thank you for the grace you've given me. I'm a child of God. I'm alive. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to go to the Because I'm going to leave you. Because of your grace. I thank you for the blood. And I thank you for today. What day is it? Though there may be problems, they will be used for the good. Because every problem that will come today will become a step where I will stand and go to another level. So Lord, I thank you. Thank you for the blessing, for the friends, for the miracles, and for the problems. Kubanga vigenda kote sebo roburunji. For the workout for the good. Vigenda kumfu la mugezi nyo 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 nyo. Make me wiser. Stand nebo na uli danga gamant. When the devil hears. Whoever says nebi bi. Who say you've thanked for the bad? They are going to make you wiser. Aha, sina budi wa kufura gayo no mugezi. I don't have time to make you wiser. Kati kamureke. Let me leave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Amen. Put up your hands like this. Say with me, I thank you, Lord. God of all heaven. I am your child. I am blessed. I am highly favored. By the grace of God. I am a candidate. For miracles. I am a candidate. For the best marriage ever. My house. Is a blessed house. My life. Is a blessed life. I thank you for tomorrow. Starting Monday. Up to Sunday. Is miracles. 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 Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Amen. Now let's get our offering. Oh. Week in it, Anika. This starting week. You're going to see. You're going to see miracles ah, and miracles. What of fire? What of kids are going to see you far? If you don't believe, I don't mind. I've already prayed. I prayed for you yesterday. Before coming to minister today. I'm really prayed. Ah, I'm really prayed. I'm really prayed. I'm really prayed. I'm really prayed. And you're going to get rich whether you want it or not. Some of you, when you get rich, you leave the church. Ah, you know, Pastor, these days, I can't leave the church. I can no longer come to Kawala. Because I pray from Watoto. Ah, you know, Pastor, these days, I can no longer come to Kawala. I pray from Watoto. As if it's what made you. And when you're there for two years, 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 Place. You're not a child there. You know when you get born again for a second time, God gives you a family. You were born in a family the first time. And even when you get born again, you're born in a family. Isn't it? Hey, what the, what the, uh, family 
Though family is rich, you cannot say that that is my family. Your Chana Mukaka family is your family. Mwana wange gaga wala tosi galewo. Please get rich and stay. Bobo woku genda jangua no kusindi koge no tani kio bwereze. If you are to go, come and I send you start ministry. Ogende o bwereze. And then you go and serve God. Saga la kajanja. Amen. Don't Isaac. <laughs> Amen. Men's Investment Club forms is available. Uh, forms are Fezaba Sadia is an investment club. Then, can you get hold of your offering? Your tie. Your thanksgiving. With a thanksgiving heart. With a worshiping heart. Take a envelope here. Put it in the envelope. Amen. Let me pray for you. Hallelujah. Tata wange katondo omurunji. My good Lord. Abana bano abana bomba buri dechi ambacho. I've preached these, your children. Maninti o mukisa gumazo kuyingira misai jabwe. I know that the blessing has already come into their blood. Eromo kisa guongoba wa. And I give you their blessing. Abali bati doko rogebwa. Those who were afraid of witchcraft. And they thought they were bewitched. Lord. I know that there is no witchcraft unto Israel. And those who bewitched used words. But you've exalted your son. Through Christ Jesus. That through my mouth I may use words. So in the name of Jesus. I release words upon you. Taking whatever was spoken about you. I cover up whatever was spoken about you. And I squeeze them. And I throw them far. Now I say that they will be rich. They will be hates but no tells. They will prosper like the cedars of Lebanon. And, and their branches shall spray to nations. Their eyes will see what others cannot see. Their names will be known in distant lands. They will be known more than Agag. The weak among them will be like David. The mighty ones, people will think them as God. I pray for them as they go back home. I pray as they go about their business. I cover them under a cloud of blessings. As a cloud covers. And it rains down. But I cover them under the cloud of under the cloud of blessing. And their dreams are being changed. Whether they see things Holy Spirit, you come into their spirit. Go into their spirit. Go into their souls. And show them what you have in store. And give them power to do mighty things. For the Bible says, those who know their God will do great exploits. Father, let them do exploits. In Jesus' name, the Son of the living God. Amen. Amen. And amen. Give Jesus praise. Amen. 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 Uh, we are going to